neither did Chico, and this is our snippet on dietary carbohydrates. Six different genes are tested to determine your sensitivity to dietary carbs. You will find out that you're either low, medium, or highly sensitive to dietary carbohydrates. And this is specifically referring to how detrimental uh, blood sugar fluctuations are for you. These blood sugar fluctuations are ones that we get by eating sugar and highly refined carbs. So the higher your sensitivity, the more detrimental these can be for you. Another way of putting it is the higher your sensitivity, the more at risk you are of inflammation, weight gain, and unfortunately for some, insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. So we don't want that, right? So what can we do? Well, number one, we need to find out how sensitive we are, which we're doing, right? Um, number two, what are these highly refined carbs? I think we probably have a handle on what sugar is, but what are these highly refined carbs? I want you to think about the white carbs, okay? White bread, white rice, things with the word instant in it, things with the word starch in the name. These are the items that we need to stay away from. They typically have a really fast and high spike in our blood sugar and can really help to worsen all of this for all of us. So we need to really stay away, but there's also two terms that are good to get familiar with. Number one is glycemic index, and the other one is glycemic load. Out of the two, the glycemic load is the one we really need to focus on. It takes into account the glycemic index, but also the amount of carbs in the serving size, the total amount of carbs and the total load that we can take for a day based on our sensitivity. So the higher your sensitivity, the lower the numbers are for the glycemic load target, okay? This is your target to stay within. Now here's a really cool thing. That's kind of all you need to know because the rest is right here in the report. Based on your sensitivity, you are actually given your glycemic load target. And on top of that, there's a list in the back of the report of so many foods, different categories of foods, um, the serving size, the glycemic index of that food, but also the glycemic load. So in other words, one cup of oatmeal would equal X amount on the glycemic load, and you can tally up what you can have for a day in order to stay within your glycemic load target. So that is such powerful information. Knowledge is power, and the beauty of it is, as long as we apply what we learn from here, even if we're highly sensitive to carbs, it, we should really find it fairly easy to stay within our guidelines. So with, I hope that's helped you out a little bit, and we'll see you later. Bye.